The most discussed news from the world of cinema in recent times is the premiere of this series, which should cause a furor among viewers. Such series have a powerful force and act on the viewer very strongly, almost magically, capturing all the attention and completely creating the effect of complete immersion in what is happening on the screen. They perfectly know how to keep in suspense and at the same time keep the intrigue until the very end. The upcoming premiere has a high expectation rating, and the creators have already announced the exact date of the release of the new episode. The show of the episode should be expected on January 10th. But now, we have to wait patiently. There is no doubt that the plot of such a series will not let you get bored for a minute. In addition, a huge number of viewers are waiting for the release of this episode. And for the creators it is a great incentive, but also a huge responsibility. The lingering hours until the premiere can be filled by watching other amazing series. But choosing a series to watch is not an easy thing to do. But don't despair, just follow our recommendations. Good Omens is a fantasy comedy series created and written by Neil Gaiman, based on his and Terry Pratchett's 1990 novel of the same name. Michael Sheen and David Tennant lead a large ensemble cast as Aziraphale and Crowley respectively, an angel and a demon. Set in 2018, the series follows the demon Crowley and the angel Aziraphale, long-time acquaintances who, having grown accustomed to life on earth as representatives of heaven and hell, seek to prevent the coming of the Antichrist and with it Armageddon, the final battle between heaven and hell. Pratchett and Gaiman had planned to adapt Good Omens as a movie for years, with various directors and writers attached to the project along the way. In 2011, a television series, written by Terry Jones and Gavin Scott, was first reported to be in the works but no further plans were announced. After Pratchett's death, Gaiman refused to ever consider working on the adaptation alone but changed his mind when he received a letter from Pratchett, written to be sent after his death, urging him to finish the project. The first episode was very interesting to many viewers. The angel Aziraphale and demon Crowley meet for the first time at the Garden of Eden as Adam and Eve are expelled after Crowley tempts them with an apple. Fast forward 11 years before Armageddon. Crowley delivers the Antichrist to a satanic convent, where the baby is to be given to an American diplomat and his family. However, a mix-up occurs and the Antichrist ends up with a middle-class English family, the Youngs. Crowley and Aziraphale meet to discuss the coming apocalypse. Aziraphale reluctantly agrees to work with Crowley. They decide that if each works to influence the boy warlock, whom they believe to be the Antichrist, he will be neither good nor evil, just normal. In the present day, Crowley and Aziraphale attend his 11th birthday party, but realize they have the wrong boy when the Hellhound fails to appear. Meanwhile, the Hellhound has found his master, Adam Young. Adam names him Dog, which changes him into a small terrier, unknowingly initiating Armageddon. In Constant Love is a Turkish romantic television series. The plot proved interesting to many viewers. Rayen is Nesu Sadoglu's granddaughter, patriarch of the prominent Sadoglu family in the town of Midyat. However, she has never felt loved by anyone in her household except her father, Hazar, her mother, Zara, and her younger sister, Ghul. Rayen has been mistreated by her grandfather since childhood because she is not his biological granddaughter, and the only reason he accepted her into the family was at Hazar's request. One morning, Rayen goes out on horseback to watch the sunrise. On her way back, her horse is nearly hit by a car. Rayen falls and loses consciousness. The driver of the car, a handsome young man named Miran, is immediately attracted to her and offers to drive her back home. Yaren, daughter of Hazar's brother, Chihan, is infatuated with Miran. When Miran falls in love with her cousin, Yaren swears revenge on Rayen for stealing Miran from her and ruining her life. Eventually, Miran and Rayen are married. However, Miran abandons Ray Yen after their first night as husband and wife, sparking intense feelings of betrayal and hatred in Ray Yen. She vows to never let him forget what he has done to her. Soon, Ray Yen finds out that everything Miran has told her about himself is a lie, his name, his background, his family, and the wedding. Miran's plan all along was to gain the trust of the Sadagla family, marry their innocent daughter and then leave her the morning after humiliating the entire family and thus, exacting the first part of his revenge against the Sadaglas.
The Witcher is a Polish-American fantasy drama television series created by Lauren Schmidt Hisrich, based on the book series of the same name. Set on a fictional, medieval-inspired landmass known as the Continent, The Witcher explores the legend of Geralt of Rivia and Princess Ciri, who are linked to each other by destiny. It stars Henry Cavill, Freya Allen and Anya Kalatra. The story begins with Geralt of Rivia, Crown Princess Ciri of Sintra, and the sorceress Yennefer of Vengeberg at different points of time, exploring formative events that shaped their characters throughout first season, before eventually merging into a single timeline. Geralt and Ciri are linked by destiny since before she was born when he unknowingly demanded her as a reward for his services by invoking the Law of Surprise. After the two finally meet, the Witcher becomes the princess's protector and must help her and fight against her various pursuers to prevent her elder blood and powerful magic from being used for malevolent purposes and keep Ciri and their world safe. Sonia Belusova and Giona Ostinelli composed the soundtrack for the first season. The duo collaborated with several soloists and artists. The soundtrack features many medieval instruments to match the medieval-inspired setting of the series. More of 60 different instruments from around the world were used to create the soundtrack. In an interview, the author of the Witcher novels admitted that he was disappointed in the series and considered the series to be only a mediocre adaptation of his books that had little in common with them. But in the same interview he noted another important aspect, saying that the creators of the series are entitled to their own vision of the story they invented. Game of Thrones is an American fantasy drama television series created by David Benioff and D.B. Weiss for HBO. It is an adaptation of A Song of Ice and Fire, a series of fantasy novels by George R. R. T. Martin, the first of which is A Game of Thrones. The show was shot in the United Kingdom, Canada, Croatia, Iceland, Malta, Morocco, and Spain. It premiered on HBO in the United States on April 17, 2011, and concluded on May 19, 2019, with 73 episodes broadcast over eight seasons. Set on the fictional continents of Westeros and Essos, Game of Thrones has a large ensemble cast and follows several story arcs throughout the course of the show. The first major arc concerns the Iron Throne of the Seven Kingdoms of Westeros through a web of political conflicts among the noble families either vying to claim the throne or fighting for independence from whoever sits on it. A second focuses on the last descendant of the realm's deposed ruling dynasty, who has been exiled to Essos and is plotting to return and reclaim the throne. The third follows the Night's Watch, a military order defending the realm against threats from beyond Westeros's northern border. Game of Thrones attracted a record viewership on HBO and has a broad, active, and international fan base. Critics have praised the series for its acting, complex characters, story, scope, and production values. The final season received significant critical backlash for its reduced length and creative decisions, with many considering it a disappointing conclusion. The series received 59 Primetime Emmy Awards. After Game of Thrones storyline began outpacing the published novels in the sixth season, the series was based on a plot outline of the future novels provided by Martin along with original content. Before season 4, Martin stated there was an issue with the television series being released before the source material could be written. According to Benioff, Martin gave the showrunners an outline on the final two books of the series. Misfits is a British science fiction comedy drama television show about a group of young offenders sentenced to work in a community service program where they obtain supernatural powers after a strange electrical storm. The show premiered on November 12, 2009 and concluded on December 11, 2013 in its fifth season. The show is filmed in southeast London, mostly on location around the Southmere Lake in Thamesmead, including the signature shot of the four multi-story buildings from the roof of the Lakeside Centre and Bexley College. The first series was accompanied by an online viral marketing, on social networking websites such as Facebook and Twitter. For example, in a British first, the characters Simon and Kelly tweeted during the initial transmission of each episode, with the content of the tweets provided by writers Sam Leifer and Ben Edwards, under the direction of lead writer Howard Overman and executive producer Petra Fry. British reviews were positive. The Times gave it 4 out of 5 stars, calling it a new union, salty British street humor with whiz-bang special effects. The Irish media were also impressed with the show. The Evening Herald called the debut episode dark, hilarious, exciting and beautifully produced.
Prison Break is an American serial drama television series created by Paul Schering for Fox. The series revolves around two brothers, Lincoln Burroughs and Michael Schofield. Burroughs has been sentenced to death for a crime he did not commit, and Schofield devises an elaborate plan to help his brother escape prison and clear his name. The series was originally turned down by Fox in 2003, which was concerned about the long-term prospects of such a series. Following the popularity of serialized primetime television series Lost in 24, Fox decided to back production in 2004. The first season received mostly positive reviews from critics with universal acclaim from audiences. Prison Break was nominated for several industry awards, including the 2005 Golden Globe Award for Best Television Series Drama and the 2006 People's Choice Award for Favorite New TV Drama, which it won. The first season of Prison Break, an American serial drama television series, commenced airing in the United States and Canada on August 2005. A total of 10 actors received star billing in the first season, with numerous supporting roles. Filming took place mostly in and around the Chicago area, Fox River was represented by Joliet Prison, which had closed in 2002. Critical reviews of the first season were generally favorable. The first episode was just great. Michael Schofield gets imprisoned in Fox River State Penitentiary as part of an elaborate plan to break out his brother, Lincoln Burroughs. Scenes set in Lincoln's cell, the infirmary, and the prison yard were all shot on location at the prison. Lincoln's cell is the same one in which John Wayne Gacy was incarcerated. Most of the production crew refused to enter the cell, thinking that it was haunted. 23, other sets were built at the prison, including the cell blocks that housed the general prison population. These blocks had three tiers of cells, as opposed to the real cell blocks too, and had cells much larger than real cells to allow more space for the actors and cameras. The two-hour pilot episode garnered approximately 10.5 million viewers. The Big Bang Theory is an American television sitcom created by Chuck Lorre and Bill Prady. It premiered on September 2007 and concluded on May 2019, having broadcast 279 episodes over 12 seasons. The show originally centered on five characters living in Pasadena, California. Over time, supporting characters were promoted to starring roles. The main characters of the series are young physicists Leonard Hofstadter and Sheldon Cooper, typical representatives of geek culture. They are fond of comics, fantasy series, board and computer games, paintball and attending various fan meetings. These hobbies are shared with them by aerospace engineer Howard Woolowitz and astrophysicist Rajesh Kuthrapoli. All four friends are closely related to science and work at the California Institute of Technology in Pasadena, California. However, the life of the guys changes dramatically when an aspiring actress and waitress Penny settles on the same landing with Sheldon and Leonard. Although the initial reception was mixed, the show went on to receive a more positive reception. The show's pilot episode premiered on September 2007. This was the second pilot produced for the show. A different pilot was produced for the 2006 television season but never aired. The structure of the original unaired pilot was different from the series' current form. The only main characters retained in both pilots were Leonard and Sheldon, who are named after Sheldon Leonard, a longtime figure in episodic television as producer, director, and actor. In the first seasons, the main characters faced the problem of socialization more than others. That's what the main jokes were based on. This is what attracted the viewer in this series, because it was fun for everyone to watch how the characters are trying to find a soulmate and make new acquaintances. Peaky Blinders is a British crime drama television series created by Stephen Knight. Set in Birmingham, England, it follows the exploits of the Peaky Blinders gang in the direct aftermath of the First World War. The fictional gang is loosely based on a real urban youth gang of the same name who were active in the city from the 1880s to the 1910s. The fifth series premiered on BBC One. Netflix, under a deal with Weinstein Company and Indemel, acquired the rights to release the show in the United States and around the world. Peaky Blinders was created by Stephen Knight, directed by Otto Bathurst, and produced by Katie Swindon. The series was filmed in Birmingham, Bradford, Dudley, Leeds, Liverpool, and Port Sunlight. The show has been particularly celebrated for its stylish cinematography and charismatic performances, as well as for casting an eye over a part of England and English history rarely explored on television. 
Historians have been divided over whether bringing characters and events from other decades into a 1920s story undermines claims to historical accuracy, or whether working-class life in the period is nevertheless depicted in a truthful and resonant way. Peaky Blinders is an epic centered on a crime family of mixed Irish Catholic and Romani origins based in Birmingham, England, starting in 1919, several months after the end of the First World War in November 1918. It centers on the Peaky Blinders street gang and their ambitious, cunning crime boss Tommy Shelby. The gang comes to the attention of Major Chester Campbell, a detective chief inspector in the Royal Irish Constabulary sent over by Winston Churchill from Belfast. Heroes is an American superhero drama television series created by Tim Crane. The series tells the stories of ordinary people who discover that they have superhuman abilities and how these abilities take effect in the characters' lives as they work together to prevent catastrophic futures. The series emulates the aesthetic style and storytelling of American comic books, using multi-episode story arcs that build upon a larger, more encompassing narrative. Originally, Kring designed the series to have an ever-shifting cast. However, his motivation changed when he realized how popular the original cast was with audiences, therefore, he brought back most of the first season cast for the second season, with a few additions who received star billing. In its first season, the show features an ensemble cast of 12 main characters making it the third largest cast in American primetime television behind Desperate Housewives and Lost. The plot of Heroes is designed to be told in a way similar to the way comic books are told. Each season of Heroes contains one or two volumes. There are several main storylines in each volume. As the main plots develop, smaller, more intimate stories are told within them. Each main character's story is developed separately and as time passes their paths cross and it is explained how their stories are intertwined and connected. This is the story of ordinary people who discover extraordinary superpowers after a solar eclipse reveals them, and how these abilities affect the characters' daily lives. The first season, known as Volume 1, Genesis, begins with a seemingly ordinary group of people who gradually become aware that they have special abilities. The story develops showing their reactions to those powers, and how that discovery affects their personal and professional lives. At the same time, several ordinary individuals are investigating the origins and extent of those abilities. Mohinder Suresh, a research geneticist, continues his late father's research into the biological source of the powers, while Noah Bennett represents, and is a lead agent for, a secret organization known only as the company that wants to control, and if necessary, terminate those who are gifted. After only having a short time to come to terms with their new abilities, each of the heroes is drawn into the final showdown. Heroes include some mysterious fictional recurring elements that have been ascribed to science fiction or supernatural phenomena. Kring and the creators of the series referred to these fictional elements as part of the mythology of the series. Kring confirmed that although the show has a unique mythology, he did not want to sink too deeply into it. Rather, Kring used volumes to wrap up ongoing plot lines instead of carrying storylines over long periods of time as in Lost. Season 1 received highly positive reviews. During the season, the American Film Institute named Heroes one of the 10 best television programs of the year. Supernatural is an American dark fantasy drama television series created by Eric Kripke. Starring Jared Padalecki as Sam Winchester and Jensen Ackles as Dean Winchester. Before bringing Supernatural to television, creator Eric Kripke had been developing the series for nearly 10 years, having been fascinated with urban legends since he was a child. He had originally envisioned Supernatural as a movie. During its first season, the show received generally mixed critical reception, but the reception from critics has grown more favorable as the series progressed with subsequent seasons receiving generally positive reviews from critics. Being a cult series, Supernatural has garnered a dedicated fanbase. The first season consists of 22 episodes. It premiered on the WB on September 13, 2005. The series follows the two brothers as they hunt demons, ghosts, monsters, and other supernatural beings. After their mother's death in a suspicious fire that burns down their house 22 years prior, Sam and Dean Winchester's father goes missing during a hunting trip. As a result, Dean tracks down Sam at Stanford University and they begin to live a life on the road, in Dean's black 1967 Chevrolet Impala with Kansas license plates. However, their father is not a typical hunter. 
He hunts supernatural creatures like ghosts, vampires, and spirits, and has trained his sons to do the same. Along the way, Sam and Dean save innocent people, fight creatures and ghosts, and collect clues to their father's whereabouts. Sam begins to mysteriously develop psychic abilities and visions as they travel.